What's the deal, people? It's your boy, the one and only, your host that do the most, Mr. Viral himself, aka the villain. Because they hate me for my opinion. Welcome back to another episode of the Viral Way Podcast. Make sure you share, like, subscribe to the channel. Y'all already know how we get down when we get down. My co-host is out the country right now, so I'm a man this one solo, but shout out my boy Messiah out there in Saudi Arabia living like royalty. He out there living like Aladdin or some shit. But yeah, shout out my boy Messiah. He'll be back next week. We got some lovely young ladies in the house. According to my boy in the back, he said, these are the most attractive ladies we have had on the show thus far. So round of applause for that, please. Can I get a round of applause for that? I'm going to let them introduce themselves, though. Who we got over here in the green? Miss Miss Lauren Hill lookalike. <laughs> what we got going on? Yes, I'm King Coco. Hey, y'all. King Coco? Yes. Damn, why not Queen Coco? Oh, because I run shit. <laughs> oh, damn. We're going to get into that. <laughs> King Coco. Who we got over here? Light skin, Miss, Miss Seductive. She got them eyes, man. <laughs> Monica Lenz. Monica Lenz? Mm hmm. That's kind of close to Monica Lewinsky. I like no. that. I like okay. that. Okay, let's <laughs> Monica Lynn. But yeah, y'all already know how we, we do over here. I like to start with some trending topics. And this is the most trending topic going right now. Matter of fact, the news just broke like two hours ago. Keefe D got arrested for... <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> Keefe D. We all know who Keefe D is. He got arrested for being suspected of being a part of Tupac's 1996 murder. Now, if you don't know who Keefe D is, this is Orlando Anderson's uh, uncle. So Orlando Anderson, like we all know, is the one allegedly who actually killed Pac. Well, that's what Keefe D has been saying. He actually, uh, when he got arrested the first time for this, that's exactly what he told the police because his nephew was already dead. So he pinned the murder on him. Now, to the world, is Orlando Anderson. To us on the West Coast, we know him as Baby Lane from Southside, Compton Crips. Now, Keefe D has been going on a media run the past two, three years, talking about this Pac shit, basically saying he was in the car when it happened, giving out all the details. I have no idea why he would be doing this. I guess he felt like he was exonerated since they let him out when he testified on his deceased nephew, but... I want to get y'all opinions on how y'all feel about this. I got my own opinion on it. I think it started a couple of weeks or maybe a couple of months ago. They they raided his home and said they found like a, some shell casings from the murder. Like he had it like as some type of memorabilia. Like that shit was crazy to me. Like you kept shell cases from a murder from 96. Wow. From the biggest rapper in the world. Like in history. Crazy. How y'all feel about this, ladies? First and foremost, I think he's dumb as shit. Woo! I don't know if I can curse or not. Oh, you oh. absolutely can curse. I mean, I believe, I, I recall, I think Mike Tyson was like, I want to sit in the ring four minutes with the person that killed Pac. And then he said, oh, I don't need nothing but one minute. So <laughs> you admitting that you did it, but he all, he all if you listen to him, he's done that multiple times since that's happened. So you kind of telling on yourself, you sound real dumb. But I mean, you know, my question is, when is Puffy coming next? Oh, whoa, we're going to get into it because I saw some articles about that. That part. Well, first of all, his lips look like a, a, a busted holly. <laughs> you know how you overboil it and it start busting? Let's start there. <laughs> and he's literally like been talking about it like forever. And I was wondering why they ain't been arrest this nigga. Like, he, he, he been saying he... He has something to do with it from day one. So I don't understand why they just now bring the charges and why do you have fucking souvenirs in your house? Period. Yeah, yeah. keeping a, a bullet, a shell case of 96 from Tupac's murder is crazy. 
That's like, he kept it like it was a Super Bowl ring. Right. But people, because I already know what they're going to do. They're going to blame Vlad for this. Vlad, do not blame Vlad. Vlad did not force this man to come on his platform and tell the world his nephew killed Pac. He was in the car. He helped plan it and X, Y, Z. This fucking bozo did this on his own. I'm calling the bozo because he's a fucking idiot. You damn near, you beat it pretty much back then in 96 when they let you go for this shit or, or whatever year they let him go. It was over with. But he went on a press run trying to get famous. Now he finna be famous for the, the wrong reason. Let me see what they what they charging them with, because I'm seeing all type of shit. They trying to throw gang enhancement on them. That's another 20 years on top of the murder charges. Like he damn near looking at a life sentence. Dude is 60. So yeah. it's off the gang enhancement alone, off the 20 years alone, it's a wrap. He'll never get out. But I don't know. This is just crazy to me. They say clout is the new drug, and here it is. <laughs> You're on camera admitting to killing the, the most famous rapper in the world. Clout is literally a fucking drug. And I totally forgot, because remember, we was giving the energy that he's dumb as shit. Absolutely. I forgot that when this happened, because if he's 60, you do the math. That means he was like, what, 30 something? Right. Closer to 40 when this happened? Like, why you that old trying to do some fuck shit? Like, seriously? That's real dumb. Yeah, it, they, they, they was 20. Ooh, yeah. How old was Pac? Tw like 23, give or take. He was in his 20s, his mid to late 20s. But you almost 40. You knocking on 40. Yeah, really? that, that was that was crazy. I mean, you know, it was been all kind of conspiracies. The the CIA did it. The FBI was involved. The government knocked him down for being too woke. And and now they saying he's in Cuba. I just seen a fucking commercial. They got some celebrity island. Like people just won't let Pac die. But no. Pac is cooked. Right. He's gone. Pac is done. You know, he might be still here in spirit and in his music. The physical form of Pac, he's out of here. It's a wrap. But Keefe D, whatever he got coming to him, he got coming to him. That's crazy to me. I cannot believe he kept the shell case. And I'm really tripping on that more than the murder because we all been knew Baby yep. Lane did the shit. Yep. Everybody on the West Coast knew. That's why when the whole East Coast was, oh, it's some East Coast, West Coast war beef and the media tried to hype it up like they were saying Puffy put the hit on him. Oh, Puffy put the hit on him and Biggie, like on some crazy shit. But I never was really... Believing that, I would have went for the CIA before I went with Puffy. But I don't know. You say you feel like I mean, differently. Was, Go ahead. I mean, I listen. You it's feel always some shit. You know what I mean with the whole CIA and all that. But it's been so many theories that have covered this unspo um, unsolved mystery about his death, and everybody from the cops and everybody has pointed to him. So, and then they've also suspected that. Puff had something to do with this. So, I mean, with the whole, like, beef that was going on, I believe it. And then I believe that it was re retaliation that Pop, um, that Biggie was killed. So, I mean, we have all, we, we're entitled to our own opinion. You know what I mean? Now, now, now Biggie might have been retaliation as mm -hmm. far as this goes. But, I mean, the story goes, Pac's in the casino, gets into it with Baby Lane. They jump Baby Lane. Baby Lane goes back, gathers up Keefe D and, like, two, three other dudes. They get in the car. They see Pac on. I don't even know how they got away with this. This is crazy. On the strip at a during fight weekend, Mike Tyson, the biggest boxer in the world, they shoot Pac on the strip. No camera, no nothing, and get away with this shit. Baby Lane wind up getting killed in Compton for some unrelated shit. I don't even think it was related to Pac. It was like some other shit going on. So I don't know. People are saying he might need to watch out in jail. Y'all think people going to try to get him in jail? Oh, yeah. Yeah, you it's think up, so? It's it's up. Yeah. yeah. You think people cared about Pac? Like, well, I don't know. Pac got a cult following. It, you they, gotta think the Mexicans yo, really. That's that's who I that's who I was thinking about more than the niggas. The Mexicans still love that nigga. Still, the Mexicans yeah, love him. I think he might got a problem with the essays yeah. more than the niggas because every nigga knew already. So right. it's kind of like, all right. Right. So if they already knew, they would have been took him out on the street. Exactly. But the Mexicans, they they probably gonna get him. As they should. And I mean, the other nigga, you know, karma spins a block. You kill Ooh. Pac and karma came. And the universe be universal. A absolutely. Universe karma definitely will you. Deadline. No, it doesn't. How about that? Ooh, talk about it. Okay, I mean, we'll, we'll see as the story unfolds. I'm sure more details going to come out because after they found a the bullet, they didn't immediately go get him. So I'm guessing they found some more shit. Right. Like, what else did you keep from 96? Did you have a copy of the tape on some Minister Society shit? Like, 
I don't know. This nigga goes down as donkey of the motherfucking decade. Fuck donkey of the day. That part. But yeah, we're going we gonna to move on from this fucking doofus. <laughs> <laughs> Here's another story that got the internet going crazy. This one got men and women going crazy. I'm seeing mixed emotions on it. I want to hear y'all info on it, though. Brittany Renner came out. She did the Shannon and Sharp podcast. Shout out Shannon Sharp. She revealed to him that she had sex with 35 men. So she said she had 35 bodies. And, you know, that's really not a lot to her. She feels like she's still wifey material. How do y'all feel about this? Because, like I said, it's been mixed emotions. Some females saying it's not a lot. Some females saying it's fucking insane. Some dudes saying it ain't a lot. Some dudes saying it's fucking insane. I want to hear from y'all, though. I think that it's not a lot. Let me sit up for this one. I don't think it's a lot. 35 bodies. It's not a lot. 35 penises. That's is not a lot. Is not a lot. No. How old is Brittany Renner? I was getting ready. I was about to say, depending on how old you are, that's not a lot. So I remember when I was in high school, right? I was in high school uh -oh. and I had a conversation with one of my mom's clients because my mom did hair. And I forgot where she was taking me, but I think she was taking me home. And um, we was talking about that. And um, she said she had like like uh, close to like 50 bodies. Hold on, who? <laughs> 50. Hold on, who? My mom's client. Yeah. Oh, damn. how old was she? She was older. So she was like probably like 40 something. So that's what I'm saying. Like, 35 is not that much when you start thinking about the age. <laughs> she had 50 of them things? Yeah. Some people be like, Literally. Oh, girl, she got 100 and something. But she older. Does she do content? Like OnlyFans? No, or? she old. She like 55. I got old home girl. She an old hoe, I guess. She like an escort? or <laughs> no. She just rant. She just fucked 50 niggas. Yeah. No, a hundred. You said a hundred. Over a hundred. And the other one, she did like 50. You got to think they old. And then, you know, life be life in. God. I guess, like, if you, okay, say for instance, we like each other, I like you, I do yes. it to you, and it don't work out. Then I'll meet somebody in the next month, I do it to him, it don't work out. You know? A hundred times? A hundred times. <laughs> You know, you got to get back up and try again. Dust yourself off and try again. I, I want to ask. Word to Aaliyah. You know, why were you taking off your glasses when she gave your number? Because if it, it gave very like judgmental. It absolutely was judgmental. <laughs> fifty bodies before fifty is crazy. A hundred. Okay, let, okay, let, let me let me okay, see. Okay, so listen, listen. What? Well, I'm gonna ask a question. So why why is it okay for a man to do it and have so many bodies? Be able to go in the streets and be like, I'm gonna go smash this girl, smash this girl. But then if a woman does that, then it's like. 30 bodies. A lot of reasons. 50 bodies. Like, wh why Why can't we be like y'all? Well, you can't be like us because you aren't us. That's number one. Mm -hmm. We're different. Number two, we're wired differently. So we can sleep with 100 women and it does not affect us emotionally, mentally. It won't affect our ability to bond with a new woman. Whereas a woman, she sleep with 100 guys, impossible to make her a wife. There's no way in the world she can bond with the man. You are comparing, just to say she got a hundred bodies. We fall in love. That's a hundred dicks right. I'm competing with. No. That's a hundred. Mind you, every man you sleep with, you leave a little bit of yourself with that guy. Or should I say he leaves a little bit with you because your body releases chemicals uh -huh. that you don't even know. Is going on when you had that that uh that bonds you to that man. So you did that over a hundred times. And like she said, okay, I did it this time, it didn't work out. That's a little scar on your heart. I did it another time, it didn't work out. That's another little scar on your heart. So between these hundred guys, you fell in love with a large majority of them, I'm guessing, unless something's wrong with you mentally, because the more you sleep with a woman, the more emotionally attached she gets to you naturally. So how many of these guys did you get emotionally attached to? And it didn't work out. And as you age, that is more bitterness, more baggage. And like I said, if I meet a woman who only slept with one or two guys or five, fuck it. She slept with 10. Fuck it. She's only comparing me to 10. A hundred? But how am I supposed to know what I like? One. That's the thing. Like if 
if I don't if I don't try different dicks or whatever it is that I like, how am I supposed to know this that is... you the one that I like? You okay. got to sample them. And oh. then how then how I'm well experienced because I can please you well. You okay. feel me? You don't need a hundred guys to get experience, number one. You can fuck one guy a hundred times and gain, gain experience. Fuck it, Why 50. Why you stuck on that? <laughs> and look. I know. Because you keep saying, okay, how do I know? <laughs> that, yeah, listen, she said a hundred. That was crazy. Yeah, you got people out here that's, you know, they up there. But some women are wired like me and where they if they don't get detached for whatever reason, whatever the experiences that they've had in their life, they're so detached where I'm, I'm a nigga. I fuck you and bye. That's my point. They're broken women. But it's not necessarily broken. No, it is broken because you cannot bond with me the way a wife could, a loving wife. Like you just said, I'm like a nigga now to the point where I can fuck you and it's bi. That should not be natural for a woman. You shouldn't be able to do that. Like me, I just met you, right? Right. Before she told me your name, I could have fucked you here, never knew your name, <laughs> sent you on your way. And that would have been no issue for me. I would have woke up Tomorrow, like nothing ever happened. <laughs> right. If a woman's able to do that, walk into a spot, see a man, don't know his name, fuck him, suck his dick and leave. You don't think nothing's wrong with that? You think she's a normal? But then what is to say that she might not meet that one person that change and be like, okay, I'm going I'm to put my card up for this one. Because she did and it 99, because she did it 99 times <laughs> and 100th time, she still didn't do it. Okay. So at that point, there's a pattern. We are just wired differently. I don't, I know society is pushing women to want to be like men now saying oh it's cool be promiscuous be this be that but as you notice the more promiscuous women get the more fucked up society is getting like this is why dating is doesn't exist marriage is in my opinion is dead <laughs> in, in my in my opinion anybody getting married today it, it's a wrap i see you got a ring on i want to get more into that married? you said what i'm gonna get married okay cool yeah. But yeah, you say you got some more questions, please. No, no, no. It's okay. Okay. Well, I don't know how you feel about it. Well, you kind of just told me without telling me. And just for the audience, Brittany Renner is 31. Okay. So if you, okay, she's 31, right? And then how, when she start fucking, let's say she start fucking like 19. Bitch, that's, that's, that's late. Really? <laughs> let's say 14. Okay. 14. Right. So she's been fucking since 14, right? If you think about it, that's not a lot. If I've been fucking since 14. Okay, first of all, a woman starting to fuck at 14 is crazy. I lost my virginity at 14. That's crazy. But I was with the same person since I was 19. But that's still crazy. Why? You realize how crazy... Fucking at 14 is... I know it's the norm for us, uh -huh. but... That is crazy, but... Yeah. But now you think about it, that's crazy to be 14. And by the time you graduated high school, you don't fuck 10, 12, I didn't fuck guys. 10, 12 people. I fuck one person, person from 14 to 19. Okay, no, I'm saying her. If we just oh, do yeah. the math. Yeah. Her, she, yeah. She did more dicks than years she been alive on this on this earth. Most people do. No, most men. Most, most. Okay. Okay, <laughs> let's put it this way. So, we don't, we're not going to tell y'all anyway how many it's been. Unless you, not the real number. Not the real number. And then even if we do tell y'all, it's like, why you care so much? I'm with you now, baby. I'm why you tripping? Listen, I'm going to tell you why. Number one, you don't got to tell us because any man that's even asks you, oh, well, how many bodies you got? What's your body count? He's a lame anyway. That part. He, he's a goofy anyway. But we're going to know. You don't have to tell me. How you going to know? I'm going right. to tell you how. Because, What's gonna be wrong? Uh, because a woman who slept with 100 guys compared to the woman who slept with under five, they're going to have totally different moralities. They're going to have totally different attitudes. They're going to give off totally different vibes. A woman who slept with 100 guys, you're gonna, we're going to be able to tell like this. Her morality is gone. Her innocence is gone. Nine times out of 10, her femininity is gone. She's going to give off social cues like, oh yeah, this bitch been around the block. This bitch is with the business. Let me tell she you something. She with the bullshit. I know three hoes right now. I used to be their fucking friends. They they used to be some real hoes. I mean like ho ho. Walking like, on fig. Sell it. They was on back page? They was on all that shit. Ooh. All these bitches is wives with families now. And they was, they well over fucked over a hundred people because they was fucking high school. So they all got wise, they all wise, big houses, they living, kids, everything. So you could turn a hoe into a housewife. It's possible. First of all, you, you, you can 
not turn a hoe into a housewife. You can marry a hoe and make her a housewife. I wouldn't. Okay. I would let's not advise to that. it. Yeah. I wouldn't advise. But then, okay, let's look at the demographics. Let's look yeah. at the statistics. What are the odds of you selling pussy on Backpage, selling pussy on Instagram, selling pussy on Twitter, doing OnlyFans, and then at the end of all of that, get the white picket fence, the house, the kids, the ring. How out of how many whores? Out of every hundred whores, how many have that as a reality? Well, I mean, it could be because some nigga gonna be like, I got her and be proud of that shit. Right. Okay. Some nigga. Mm -hmm. See, that's what I mean. Some nigga. What nigga what, mean, not, what quality of man not, is gonna not, say, not, I'm man. proud my wife did a hundred dicks? Okay, so put it this way, okay. So uh let's use my group of friends, right? Yes. It was I won't say your name. Right. <laughs> <laughs> she almost did. I almost died by saying it. It was it was seven of us, right? Out of those seven. Four of them bitches that was the whole hoes, they wiped up and married with a nice ass house. They booming. And two of them was the tricks that they met. Like, you know, and they. Do they, you see what I'm talking about here? But people? they, the niggas was successful. Listen to what she just said. And they living their best life. <laughs> two, of, two of them was the tricks. Mm -hmm. That lets you know what a trick. But that it's means, tricking if you got it. No, it's still tricking. No, you just it's not got right. it to trick. It's still tricking. You got it to get. You just got it to trick. To but get. listen to what I'm saying. This is why I said, what are the quality of men? Are these men that other men respect, that other men look and revere and go, hey, that's an outstanding guy. That guy right there is a guy I would want my son to be like. No, I wouldn't want my son to be some trick that spent his <laughs> life buying pussy. So much that he married the bitch he was buying the pussy from. He did. But she a bad bitch. Or no more. Bad bitches on every corner. But he want that one. Mm -hmm. It's said, a ooh. bad bitch. On, that is the easiest thing in the world to replace is a bad bitch because they everywhere. He said, ooh, I want that one. <laughs> that is <Right>. crazy. <laughs> that is crazy. And he didn't want to have to pay for it no more. He so didn't want that part. part. He said, I'm going to just wife it up. Yep. And then. Mm -hmm. Okay. What, what is the odds of her respecting him? All of it. Matter. It don't matter. I mean, <laughs> let me just put it this way, right? <laughs> they matter. they respect them niggas. Like, they really do. Who? They're my friends. They they housewives. They The men take care of everything. They, they happy from what they say. Yeah, they're happy because they found someone dumb enough to go for the bullshit and wife them after that disastrous past. I mean, I feel like everybody got past. Yeah. And, you know, the past is the past. I'm here right now. I'm a different person. Yeah, I was selling that pussy, but now I'm different, and I'm just All with right. you. Well, this, well, this this is my advice. Okay. You know what I'm saying? I say women who say body count don't matter, avoid wifing them because they're the ones with the high body counts. <laughs> uh, they're the ones with the high body counts, which is why they want it to not matter to you. If a woman can't offer you a clean past, do not offer her a, a part of your bright future. Like she can be, she can be a part of life. Like, okay, this is an experience, but all of this success and this the pot of gold at the end of the rainbow, nah, that's for somebody with a clean past. Because we value a woman's past, a woman values a man's future. That's like a woman wife and a man, and you know in his future, he's going to be a bum for the rest of his life. That's not the same. It, I'm no, talking it, about, it's the same. We're talking about finances. No, but I'm saying your, your body count, your purity is finances to a man. That's not the same because if you're going to be a bum, okay, let's put it this way. I'm not about to marry you if your dick little. I don't give a fuck how much motherfucking money you got. I don't care what you got going. That dick ain't hidden. We not getting married because I'm not satisfied. What we going to do about that? But Okay, but this this, this is what- That it, you could compare to that. This would Nah, because this is what the discrepancy dick to, is. To buddy. Dick to pussy. I mean to pussy. If my pussy, you saying, is ran through, right? Because it's it had 200 people in it, but your dick little- Okay, his dick little, but he's a millionaire. That's fine. What if I got are you, a lot of are, Would you marry him, though? No. No, I'm saying you right now. No. You telling me right now mm -hmm. you would not marry a multi-millionaire because his dick is little. Because it's for the wrong reasons. It's for the wrong reasons. What's the right reasons? I would have to love him and that little dick, but I don't like little dick. Okay, so if he's the, he's a perfect man, he's a good man. He's not perfect. No, listen, no, listen. That's <laughs> 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 okay, because I, I want people to hear this right. because uh -huh. when I say this shit, they say I'm crazy. He's a good man. Mm -hmm. He's the nice guy. Uh -huh. He's faithful, loving husband, loving father. 
He doesn't cheat. And he's a fucking millionaire. You saying all of that is trumped if his dick is small. How small is we talking? <laughs> I mean, it's just like I said, it's gonna be for the wrong reasons because I'm gonna I'm gonna be with you. I'm gonna marry you for the money, but then I'm gonna have a side person that I'm fucking. So it's just like then I'm not loyal to you. So would you rather me not be loyal and pretend like I'm in this happy life because you a millionaire and I'm supposed to want you, but or would you rather me be like I'm good? Somebody else wants you. Okay, so on the flip side. He cheats, bad husband, bad father, dick is huge and it's fire. You could be faithful to that? No. Mm -mm. That got to go to... Right. Okay, so you need the good husband, the good father. the perfect... You, 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 you need the, the, the guy that don't exist, basically. It's, it, 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 they it does. You, believe, you, want the, you need the guy that don't exist. It exists. Right. Okay, what's the, what, is, what is the percentage of guys that you think are multimillionaires, good fathers... Don't cheat, loving husbands, and dick is big and good and blah 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 over six feet and all the extra shit. Well, you added shit. I didn't say he didn't have to. I didn't say he had to be over six feet. Okay, take the six feet out. Okay. Let's just go with like, those stats. Question to be answered like, how big is the dick? Because I need to know. Well, this is what she said. She know, said little. So I don't know what's little to y'all. Well, okay, she okay. she said a hundred so, bodies not a lot. So at okay. that point, you done had horse dick. You done had. You done had shrimp dick. You done had every dick on the menu. That, see, that's my point. To a female who has not had a lot of dick, the dick that you would say is little or you would say is little would be big to her because she's never had the big man dingo dick nine times out of ten if she only fucked one or two guys. Well, I be watching porn and I seen little dick and big dick. So I know that I don't like little dick because when I see little dick porn, I'm like, I got to turn this off. That don't look good. <laughs> so therefore... I know what that shit was looking like before I even start fucking. I know what big dick look like with little dick. What it looks like, but it's a difference between look and feel. Right. And I also know that big dick always don't be hitting right. Just because it's big don't mean you know what to do with it. And I had smaller ones that that shit was hitting a little bit better than that bigger one because he knew what to do with it, you know? But it can't be too small. Cause now Okay, give us a side. Give us yeah. an okay. what's what's too small? What's too so, small? Too small is we, when it get hard like this. That's too small. Okay, what is that in inches? The average that's like that's like three. The average male penis size is like five to six inches. I I I know, and those people <laughs> I just skip on, and I just don't talk to them because I I'll, I'll ask you pull that dick out. I don't care. I'll ask you. Let you me will, see. bitch. I need to know because we can get down to the nitty. Hold on, we talking first day shit. I need to see. Okay. But then I feel like they get too, they're too excited. Like they, you ain't interested in fucking him right now. No, but I need to see. Because if I'm interested later and it ain't hidden, I don't care how much I like you. This ain't going to work. Because I feel like I do like side swipe. You know, like you That don't work. <laughs> you know what I mean? Because then you, but, you won't know that I'm interested. But what if he's a grower, not a shower? Because some yeah. niggas, some, you know what I'm saying? Mm, no. Some niggas be having big balls. You got to watch out for that. Hold on. So, <laughs> she threw me for a loop on that one. What? They just okay. Balls. So the bottom line is, if he don't have a big dick and a lot of money, y'all will not settle down and be faithful to him. He can have a mediocre money. Like he don't have to be a million. Like what's mediocre? Like he just have to make like say for instance, if you make like eighty thousand a year. That's, that's not. Okay. That's not mediocre though. That's oh, that's above average. Then we need above average. Yeah, above average. Oh, so do y'all mind if he fucks other women? Why would he fuck everybody? Look at me. What does he fuck other people for? What you mean? It's people that look like you out there too. No, but, but what me. What you need that for? What you need that for? Because they not me on the inside or the outside. Okay, that's cool. But they're something that looks equivalent or better and they're new. So what did you need that for though? Right. We ain't got me. Okay. All you need is me. Those boots. Yeah. You like them, right? Correct. Are those your only pair of shoes? Mm -mm. Why'd you buy the other ones? Because I mean, you like those, right? They're good inside and out. Why did you buy? Why did you buy more? Why didn't you but stick with that one pair? But that's material, right? Are we talking about a relationship, totally different. No, you talking about relationship. I'm talking about sex. He just wants to fuck her. I love you. I'm in a relationship with you. This is it. But from time to time, I'm gonna need to fuck something new. But why? Then you're not my person. Why not? And you gonna move along? Cause my person would never. Mm -hmm. Oh, see, now the difference is starting to kick in because a minute ago I thought y'all was like niggas. No, I never said that. 
I said, I th- what happened? I thought you was the that, nigga. That was before we was wifing up. Yeah. If we in the streets and we single, then hell yeah, I'm gonna be a nigga. But if we wifing up, then no, you don't you need just to turn the switch her. on and off. Okay, yeah. well, niggas, we can wife oh, up. Different conversations. I can I can love you, wife you up, and still fuck somebody else and still love you and wife you up. What's the problem? Or no. Okay, but so you want a man that's above average. Mm-hmm. You want him to have a big dick. You want him to have a lot of money, but then you want him to only be faithful to you. Do you see how that don't make no sense? Why does not... <clears throat> Hold on, I'm going to choke. Yeah, tell us why it doesn't make sense. Why that don't why? make sense? Okay, it, it doesn't make sense for the same reason y'all want to be respected for fucking a lot of men and still and you still want respect. Like a man who can fuck a lot of women and get respect. The difference is sex comes so easy for y'all, it's not respected. Anything that comes easy... Is not respected. It has no value. If if anybody could get it or anybody could do it, it's valueless. This is why Lamborghinis are marked at what they're marked at because not anybody can afford it. Matter of fact, they're so valuable, they don't even have commercials because only the, pe- the small percentage of people who work so hard to create so much success to be able to afford it, they know where to go to get it. The average broke motherfucker, they don't, what's the point of you seeing a commercial? They don't even need you to see it. The people who could afford it can afford it. The average woman has the same sexual pull as a male celebrity. So for me or the average guy to get the same amount of options of females that y'all get of dick, he would have to be rich and a celebrity. Mm-hmm. Literally. Like if we open your DMs or we open her DMs, unlimited options. Y'all can go on Instagram right now, go on damn near any man's page, go to his story and just put the eyes. You don't even got to talk. Just put the eyes. And you probably can fuck him that night. What percentage of men you think can... No, but I'm saying, what percentage of men do you think can do that and have any woman want to sleep with them? I know niggas that do. I know. No, you know niggas, but out of how many... Out of If we have 10 niggas in this room, how many of them niggas you think can do that and pull that off? Not many. And that's only because I feel like it got to gotta be in you and not on you. Like, a lot of people don't know how to move like that. Look, we can have a woman in here right now 230, 250 pounds. She can have the same amount of sexual options as Chris Brown. Now take a man that's broke, 250 pounds. How many sexual options do you think he got? He got a few. They zero. Just, they just own his Zero. Head. They just own Zero. <laughs> this is why it's not respected from y'all because from the time you're like 12, to, to the rest of your life, guys are trying to fuck you every day. Anytime a man says, oh, how you doing today? He thought about fucking you. He just hoped you answered friendly enough to, for him to get enough courage to speak to you, try to get your number, to try to fuck you. Most guys, women don't speak to them at all, ever. And you can tell the ones that don't get no attention. They and that's, that's them niggas. They be lame as fuck. Marrying they tricks. Okay, so No. Because, okay. <laughs> I mean, I mean okay. Th- th- that's the tricks. That's marrying they hoes. Okay, so let me put it this way, right? So, a lot of people that we we know and we look up to, they used to be, they be tricking. And that's how they got the girl. Like, if you think about it, that's just how, that's just how it be operating. If you got a lot of money, you gonna trick it off on the girl and you can get the girl. That's just. That's the way society made it. I didn't make this up. It's just been like that. No, I'm not mad at it, but yeah. men men understand for you to be valued, you have to have something of value to offer. Money, status, power. That's what women look for. They will they will overlook looks, the big dick, and all of that bullshit if you have the money and the power. Not all women, because if you ugly. And I'm like nothing about you. I can't. I can't be with you. What Jay Z said, ain't no such thing as ugly billionaire. I'm cute. Fuck you, mean. I got no. a. Bi- I got a billion dollars. Like what? Cute. Uh, that's the thing. Okay, but then you know, I'm I'm only there for the money. I'm not there for anything else. Yeah, I could grow to love you. Of course, I could grow to love you because I'm a Pisces. I could grow to love any fucking body right. if we hanging around each other long enough. But immediate attraction, never. It's not there. So I have to grow to like things about you. Like you know what? He got some. He got some nice lips. <laughs> he got some nice eyelashes. Now look, I don't want people to think I'm hoe bashing because I firmly believe we need hoes. We need hoes. It's yin and it's yang. Balance. No, it, it's balanced. We need hoes. Hoes serve a purpose. If anybody love hoes, it's me. 
just think of how boring life would be without the hoes. Hoes be fun. Hoes are fun, they right? Fun exactly. But the the only distinguishing factor is the hoes that want to get treated like the wives. That's where the collision comes. It's like, no, we accept you for being a hoe. We love you for being a hoe. But you're going to be treated like a hoe and viewed as one. We're not going to view you the same that we view them. That's the only, and that's where women and men seem to collide at because they're like, no, I want to fuck 100 dudes. I want to be a hoe. I want to be on OnlyFans. I want to sell pussy on Fig. And I want you to treat me like that holy woman over there. See, like, no. Different. Like, <laughs> when you, okay, I, I feel like being on Fig, <laughs> <laughs> that's a lot. Like, being on Fig is crazy. Hey, but they out there. That matter of fact, I live over there. So listen. I fucking know. Like, being on Fig outside in the nighttime, selling it to them, let me not even say, just right. to the sweaty ass people that be getting <laughs> off work. Y'all know who I'm talking about. That's crazy because they only sell it to one type of person. Because mm. motherfucker, people that look like us ain't buying it. So I know, I know what you want to say. I know what right, you want to say. Therefore, hey, I know what you want to say. Now that, like, bitch, you tripping. You was just out here sucking sweaty ass dick, and now you want to be a wife? And you wasn't even sucking it for a lot of money. You sucking it for sixty dollars. But th that, but see, that's my point. Okay, now if you go to church, you saved and you bought yourself up, and you that eighty thousand k bitch, and you got your businesses. Okay, you might just meet that nigga who be like, "Damn, you had a past, but you changed your life. You didn't right. went to church. You didn't disappear. You didn't say you didn't." <clears throat> Not happening. And you know, you not happening. I, I don't give a fuck. I went to church and, and gave my life to God. I, so I life erased God. the. Listen, God I damn this. Hey, listen. Even God said hoes got to sit in the back. If we talking about <laughs> some religious shit, God said the hoes got to sit in the back. You bitches are not allowed up here at the front. Sit in the back, outside on the ground. God said that. Mm -hmm. That's in the that's in the good book. I mean, I'm not a religious person, but I know that that's in there. God don't even respect the hoes. Right, but I'm saying that if I am saying like, okay, I'm a changed person, I'm not doing that no more. I'm on my shit. I'm a new person. Blessings to you. Right, and if the guy accepts that, right, and he on his shit, and he accept that, then why not? But this this is what I'm saying. Men value you for your past the same way you value a man for his future. When you are looking for a mate. You want to know, what's your five-year plan? What's your life headed? Matter of fact, let me see your five-year work history. What trajectory are you on? Is your life going here or is it going here? You want the guy that's going here. You want the guy with the money. You want the guy with the cars. You want the guy with the retirement plan. You want the guy who can take your kids on family vacations, pay the bills, two-car garages, middle, middle, uh, middle America, middle-class income. You want that. That's how we view your past. Because a man is, I don't give a fuck what type of man he is. You're gonna, the, the level of respect other men give you is gonna be based off your woman. Right. So if you walk in with, you walk into the company party with the bitch that everybody at the company fucked, there's no respect there. I don't care what type of outstanding guy you are. Right. If we know your wife fucked a hundred dudes, there's no way we're gonna respect you as a man because... Why is your self-esteem so low that you felt you had to wife a bitch that fucked a hundred dicks? But I feel like that's the reason why we come to the table and we're like, like you go to get an interview and you lie on your job or your <laughs> resume. I feel like that's the reason why we come to the plate with the same energy because then you're judgmental and you're not accepting me or, or saying, <coughs> okay, well, that was your past. This is, this is where we are now. Where are you here? Where are you trying to go? That's the reason why we lie about body. Are, are you not judgmental? No. Okay, you just sat here and said you wouldn't marry a man with a little dick. You're judging him for something. And this is the crazy part. Women judge men for shit they have no control over. That man has no control over his fucking genetics that his family passed down to him. However tall we are, however big our dick, we can't control that. Y'all can control how many dicks enter your vagina though. But it's not it's not judgmental. I'm it's my preference. Right. Right. So 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 I'm you I'm not I'm not judging you for having a little dick. It's just not for me. That's it. Right. That's our preference. We ain't judging you for having a hundred bodies. <laughs> I just don't want to wipe it. I like it. the way you just of, it on me though. Matter of fact, <laughs> I might want to be 101. Because Rick Fox said he wanna be number 36. That point. she said she got 35, he wanna be 36. Fuck it, I'll sign up to be 37. Let me see what it's hitting for. Fuck it. I told a nigga in the gym, he said, you got a boyfriend? I said, yeah, I got five. You trying to be number six? He said, yeah. Like, 
Easy. Niggas don't care. Yeah. No, that that's because when you say you got five boyfriends, okay, I know you fucking at least two or three. So I, I know, and I feel I'm better than them two or three. And I wanted you to get away from me. I'm thinking he gonna be like, okay, I hell no. Nah. You just told so, me you easy. I have a question now because you were like with the energy, like, oh, I want him to get away. So what, as a man, why, why when we reject you or we say, oh no, we're good, do you then be like throwing shit at us or like want some? Fuck you type bitch. You know, like, fuck you bitch. You ain't cute anyways. Like, what? why that energy? Because we were just like, no, I'm good. Well, men don't do that. Bitch niggas do that. Fuck okay. boys do that. Little Niggas with low self-esteem do that. Real men ain't doing that. It's like, okay, if you tell me you good, okay, cool. That's your loss. It's a hundred of you. I know it's only, it ain't that many of me just going off statistics of what women check for in men and the boxes I check off, minus height because I'm short, but... <laughs> If you start checking them boxes, my boxes is, they boxing. They checking. And I know you're not finna find many niggas like that. So in my brain, bitch, that's your loss. Oh, you cute. You got a fat ass. You got nice titties. Cool. So does she. Let me walk around the corner. So does she. Let me walk into Target. So does she, she, she. Let me go to the day party. It's 50. Like, it's, it's so many options. Why would anybody care enough? Them is the niggas with low self-esteem. They got daddy issues. They got they was not raised to be a real man. Mommy issues. I don't have no respect for them type of niggas. But what I will say is the women who are disrespectful about it, I don't have no sympathy for them. I feel and how do how what do you call disrespectful? Because I'm gonna tell you one time and one time only. I don't <laughs> want to be fucking bothered. And if you be like, oh, nigga, do you just fucking hear me? <laughs> I just say it's like. I don't know how to be nice anymore. I feel like, like, let me get your number. Okay, but you know why? Okay. I just said no, nigga. This is this is a double-edged sword. Because on, on the same token that you saying that, women will say, oh, I turned this guy down and he walked away and then they'll feel some type of way. Like, damn, but he didn't even try. Like, he didn't. <laughs> That's the lame no. bitch. If you, I want like, I see, I see women no. tweeting that like, damn, what happened to men chasing us? Like, they want to be what? chased. Like, I'm not about to chase a bitch I just met. All. Bitch, I don't know you. If I was a nigga, I'm not about... Bitch, I asked you for your motherfucking number. You ain't give it to me. Like you said, it's a million other bitches. That's just if I go up to a nigga and I want to talk to him. If he tell me no, guess what? It's a nigga sitting right next to him. His friend. I'm going to go talk to him. Because he don't want It don't fucking matter. <laughs> right? The I'm only reason... The him, only but. reason... The only reason I say that because living life as a man, there is women who want to see... It's like a job interview. Like some jobs will purposely turn you down... The first time you go to apply for the job because they want to see how persistent are you? How much do you really want this job? Oh. So if I turn down 10, I turn down 10 applicants and that one applicant kept coming back. Okay. You really want this job. You, you really serious about this shit. I'm gonna hire you. There's women like that. Like I'm gonna turn down guys until I see who's the most persistent. Oh shit. He came back. Yeah. I'm gonna give him a shot now. Well, that really happens. Why do I have to work that hard? Because I'm like, if you don't want me, then somebody else is. And if this job don't want me, I'm going to be able to find somewhere okay. else. So why do I have to? Oh, I really want this job. I'm like feeling like I'm begging. Like, what? what? Now that I agree on. I'm not lowering myself to that standard. I'm going to come up to you, politely ask. You tell me no. Okay, bitch, bye. I'm over here. Yeah, I'm like, I feel it's giving baby. I'm begging, baby. No, I'm not doing that. But you, but you got to realize, too, y'all only find... Two out of every 10 guys attractive anyway. So if a man's not attractive to you, him talking to you is harassment. So the thing that this ugly guy said that you feel harassed by, the same guy that you like could have came and said the same shit and you would be all smiles, all teeth, all pearly whites. No, not necessarily. That's a fact. Disrespect is disrespect. If I don't like you saying something to me and I don't give a fuck who you are, I'm going to tell you like, um, don't do that no more. If you ugly, if you cute, don't do that no more. I don't like that shit. I'm just telling you, because guess what? I don't give a fuck how cute you are. If you say something I don't like, it is what it is. Really? Don't do that no more. Now, if you ugly, I might tell you a little bit more aggressive to don't do that no more. <laughs> but don't nobody do that shit. To Look, you. I'm going to say this. I don't like that. Women want the man with the bright future. Men want the women with the squeaky clean past. Do not give her your bright future if she can't give you her squeaky clean past in exchange. Is gonna end in a disaster. And I, I don't care how much a woman tell you, oh no, I changed this. No, you there's some things you just can't change from because it's wired in you not to be able to. What? It's wired in you not to be able to, just like it's wired in us to do certain things. This is why I say 
A man having sex with other women outside his relationship is not cheating, but if his woman does it, it's cheating. If a man fucked another woman, that relationship can be saved. A matter of fact, I will even go as far as to say, women want you to do that every now and then. Or they want to know that you got the capability to. So because, you, you really believe that? I swear to... So right, that's how your relationships go? Right hand to God, you're a woman... Wants to feel jealousy every now and then. Jealousy to a woman is a turn on. Like if you at a restaurant and there's like a, a cute server, flirt with her a little bit in front of your woman. So you can get the server and you beat the fuck up. <laughs> she hey! gonna, listen, she going to give you shit, but then she going to go home and suck the skin off your dick. I'm not going to go that, do anything listen, with that dick. That she going to go home. On the couch, bitch. She going to go home and I'm going to tell you why. Because the second that cute, younger server with the better body that look better than her start flirting back she know damn my nigga can pull something like this now it's i know i got competition so now i know i gotta keep my game up here she's gonna do the extra bro i'm telling you mm -mm. i'm telling you so if you want the it's a fact. struggling ass server that go could just get her. you then go have her yeah go have, go her. have her yeah go okay but you Good go but, but look y'all got the nigga with the money so the broke struggling Guess server what? I even had plenty her money. niggas with the money. Mm -hmm. That's the thing. Me personally, I didn't have every type of nigga you think of. Had. Yeah. And guess what? I left because the nigga, some of them was weird because they think they got the money. This is the thing. Sometimes nigga with the money used to be the lame nigga with no money. That's a fact. So now he has the money. And because I'm I'm an artist or a, a football player, it is, oh, all the bitches supposed to like me. You're lame. I don't y'all don't give a fuck what team you play for. <laughs> What 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 um uh, what he say? I ain't gonna say no names, but he <laughs> say yeah um cause yeah I just got signed to to G Unit. I say okay, and I told you before I came over here I wasn't <laughs> fucking you. But see, this is why it takes more components than money to be viewed as a high value man, as they right. put it. Money is not just enough. It's a lot of cornballs with money. Right. This is why when women brag about fucking niggas with money. Men don't batter, like, we don't flint, like, okay, cool. It's right. a lot of corny niggas with money. And I know him, and he's lame as fuck. So you fucked a lame nigga with some money. And the thing is, you're a lame bitch, because he told me he didn't even give you no money after you got it done. So y'all both lame, so. Okay, look, all I'm going to say is, men, if you have any value in your life whatsoever, give that, you should share that with a woman, right? If she deserves it, give her everything, but make sure she deserves it. If you're going to offer her everything on her checklist, she better be able to offer everything on your checklist. If she want that bright future, bitch, you better have that clean past. Uh, that's just what it is. But, you know, we love the hoes too. So if you a hoe out there, don't be offended because I love y'all for sure. Moving on. I want to play this clip for y'all. I don't know if y'all seen this, but since you're married, I definitely want your opinion. Is that as black men age... Their desirability increases, thus their optionality of women is always expanding. And the exact opposite is true for black women. Mm -hmm. As we age, doesn't matter how much money we accumulate, our degrees or professional accolades, the reality is, is that our marriage and partnership market value is depreciating with every passing year. No matter how good we look, no matter how fit we are, Men are still seeing primarily our presumed dwindling fertility as a knock against us. And speaking of fertility, that is another reason that I want younger black women to seek marriage and partnership in college or right after, if that's what they choose. Because the number of college educated black men is so low when compared to black college educated women that we're all going to be targeting the same small pool of men. And as we heard today, on most campuses, there's like seven black women students for every one black man student. Y'all do the math. So here's my advice. If you are a young black woman in college and you know in your heart and in your head that you want to prioritize family, I suggest that you simultaneously pursue that MRS degree right along with that BA or JD. Because the handful of black college age men that actually do desire to get married soon and they do share that value system and family is a priority for them, too. Y'all, that is an incredibly small pool and it's shrinking as you get older. And by the time you reach my age, 40, you will be faced with different choices relating to life partnership and motherhood. Now, I'm not saying that delaying marriage or motherhood is a bad option. 
but it's one that comes with its own consequences. And our women deserve to know on the front end of their decision making. Ooh. Okay. So basically, to sum it up, she made a couple videos a while ago and she got a lot of backlash for it. So I, I think this was like a, a like a media cleanup for her to try to get back in the good graces of black men because literally all men in the fucking red pill community, the manosphere, whatever they want to call it, been bodying her, like destroying her, like just going at her like crazy. So now she literally took every man's talking point that we've been saying for years, Kevin Samuels being the most noticeable one, like literally damn near the exact same spill that women said fuck y'all men for saying literally like hated men for saying literally wish death on men for saying she just said the same thing and women's like damn you know what she's kind of right how y'all feel about what she just said i agree i agree with her i mean if you get older i feel like because you know the pool is is slim then you're gonna have to date outside your race I'm just saying, like, why is that not an option? <laughs> why is that not an option? Because, because, like we were talking about the other, the other situation, you want the squeaky little toy. So why, if I'm 40, 50 years old and I'm older, trying to have a kid or doing whatever I want to do, why would a black man want me? Let me ask you a question. I'm just saying. Like, no, 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 no. Let, because <laughs> a lot of women have this mindset, a lot of black women. Why do you think dating outside your race is the, is the answer? Because they gonna want me, and I'm I'm gonna be their squeaky little toy, like oh. how men be like, "Oh, she an old bitch," and I'm gonna go get somebody younger that got a better body. So, okay. why can't I just go outside my race? Because Bob gonna like this body or mm -hmm. not? Okay. See, I don't like talking. I don't like talking statistics too much mm -hmm. because so many content creators do it you start to sound the same as everybody. So I like to just like talk logically and realistically. Okay, realistically, mm -hmm. there was a poll done and they surveyed X amount of men of all races, right? They put white women, Hispanic women, Asian women, Indian women, black women, damn near every race of woman. And they, they, they asked men, okay, who's most desirable for a wife? Like, can you put them in order? Almost all across the board of every other race except black men, black women were at the bottom. Black women were deemed the most least attractive for a wife by all races. Mm -hmm. We the only ones who was like, we want black women. The white men are not marrying black women. The Hispanic men are not marrying black women. The Asian men for goddamn sure is not marrying black. Like... I don't know why black women have this idea in their heads that, oh, I'm going to just go over here to these other races. Y'all don't hear how these other races talk about y'all. We do because they be at work talking with us about it. This is why when I tell black women, hey, why are we fighting each other when we're all we got? They look at us as fetishes on both sides of the fence. Even though black men are more successful marrying out, but I always put an asterisk on that because men like to brag on it, but... They only come get the top of the top from us. Like, they go after the athletes. They go after the lawyers. They go out. Like, these bitches literally went to classes and, and literally courses on how to get successful black men. And we see it. If you look at, matter of fact, goddamn, I just seen a list of, like, the top six or seven black billionaires, and they all got wives that are not black. So, in my brain, I go, damn, when them niggas die... All of that wealth, instead of coming to the black community, if they had a black wife, it's going to go to that white community. It's going to go to that Asian community. The money's going to be gone. But I say that to say this, those options aren't really there. It's not realistic. If you just look at the stats, like if we look up the stats right now, blackdemographics.com, for the people out there, you can look it up. Yeah. The, the interracial marriage rate for black women is almost non-existent. These guys are not marrying y'all. They like to fuck y'all. They like to swirl with y'all. A black woman is every man's fantasy because to me, black women are unfatable. Like a fit, feminine, friendly black woman is the top of the food chain of all women, period. All women emulate black women's beauty standards, which is why BBLs are so crazy. But these guys aren't marrying y'all. That's not even 
They're not even marrying y'all at younger ages. So what makes you think I'm a white guy? I got my picks at all these white women. I'm gonna go. I want that 40 year old black woman with two or three kids by a black guy. And I want to be a stepkid to those black kids and give them my white wealth. Who who did the poll though? Because I just feel like black men are are the same. Like black men trash us. They talk shit about us. It's been a, a long, long time before current that we weren't even, well, not we, because they did, if they did have a light-skinned girl or a white girl, we black women were not really in music videos. So I'm just trying to, I'm trying to understand, like, black men were given the same energy. You say that that they're the highest on the on the poll to marry us, but I don't, I'm like, where, where? Where sway? Because there's a lot of people that are married to white men that I know. And I'm like, so I don't know where, did they just ask all the black men in the neighborhood? Oh yeah, we'll marry a black woman. Like, well, where did they do the poll? Okay, see, th this is the thing about polls and statistics is women will never believe it, no matter where it came from, where they did it, if the poll doesn't go in their favor. So I could say they did it anywhere on this planet. <laughs> And, and women are going to, the, the ultimate response for women is going to be, that's not all men. Because women don't understand probability. Women live life off possibility. Just like you said, well, I know a homegirl that married a white guy. Yeah, but out of how many, if we take the total population, what percentage of black women are marrying prominent white guys? Okay. You know what I'm saying? Because those white women are not letting you come take them prominent white men. It's not happening. The same way them white men ain't letting Tyrone come take their top Beckys. The only way Tyrone getting that is that nigga in the NFL, he in a fucking NBA, he a motherfucking doctor, but just a regular nigga on the block, you ain't getting the top of the crop. You getting that fat bitch that they don't want, that like hip hop and get the box braids like us and hang out with us and grew up with us. Same thing with the Asians. You're not getting that smart bitch that went to Harvard and does tech now. Her daddy ain't having that. She will be cast from the family. His son will be banished from the family if he came home with a 40-year-old black woman and his dad and his parents don't work their whole lives to get this motherfucker in the top percentile. You finna bring home a 40-year-old black woman to this? Are you crazy? I guess we have to agree to disagree. Because I'm like, people in industry, you sign a, a deal for something and the first thing they want to do is get rid of the black girl that been holding you down, probably throughout college and all that, for a white girl or somebody of another race. I've went to a club and I'm not going to say no celebrity's name, but I went to the club and I was, I've always rolled with, with chocolate girls. Oh no, my, 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 you can come in, but all them other dark bitches, they can fucking stay. And a black man that was in the industry told me that. So I'm like, no, nah, I'm going to rock with my girls because I'm not fucking with you like that. Okay. So I'm like, I'm saying like the disrespect and that they want us so bad. Where is it? Okay. I'm going to tell you where it is. It's dwindling <laughs> because feminism is killing it. Now, prior to the black women joining the feminist movement, black women were the most desired out of all women. All races of women were jealous of black women because of how good the men were treating them. Black women were actually the most married. We had the most nuclear families out of every race. The white woman was getting trashed, beat, or whatever by her man because he would go home, he would go to work, come back drunk, fuck, like we heard all the stories, beat her ass. They psyoped black women to spearhead the movement. And then once they got their men in line and started getting their men to marry them more than y'all, they dissed y'all. Where they at now? Where are the white feminists fighting for the black women right now? Like y'all was fighting with them. Y'all never had the same struggle as them. The color purple didn't exist. That was a fucking movie. That wasn't really going on. Black women, even during slavery, niggas was literally treating y'all like fucking royalty. Like I don't understand. Well, I understand where it comes from. The CIA funded the feminist movement, literally, they funded it to break apart families, which is working right now. Because you have women saying, I'm a nigga, I'm a nigga, I'm just like a nigga. And this is why niggas is like, bitch, I'm not marrying a nigga. Why would I want to marry a woman that's telling me I'm a nigga and I think like a nigga? No, I'm trying to marry a woman. I don't. I need a woman raising my kids. If that's the case, I might as well go marry a man and be LGBT. That's what a lot of them doing anyway. This is, 
the misconception is niggas don't want black women. No, black women today don't want to submit to black men. This is why when that nigga get on and you still on that I'm a nigga bullshit and Becky slide right up with them courses she took, feminine, sucking his dick, listening to everything he say, he like, oh, fuck this. Why I'm going to fight with you every day? She going to do everything I say and make my life peaceful. But does that come with a bitch on the side too? Yes. If right. that if that comes Hell with, yeah. So Becky gonna do with that? That's Becky's like, gonna deal with that. Becky's that, gonna I deal with that. They're not marrying us. You can <laughs> go be with Becky. And I feel like too, when when you do have the guy, for example, right? You meet a guy, y'all together, you've been holding it down, and then boom, he meet somebody else, right? Then he fuck with her because she got a little bit more. Even though you've been holding it down, she got a little bit more. She ain't complaining about certain shit. She gonna let you fuck with a bitch on the side. And that's fine because that's what she wants to do. I'm not about to let that shit slide though. Let, I don't care how much money. Let me ask y'all a question. Why is him fucking somebody on the side even a problem? Because you cheating on me. Okay. Why is it cheating? Because you're having sex with somebody else. I know, but who told you that was cheating? I fucking said it was cheating. No, no, no. Before you said it was cheating, who put that idea into your brain? Because you weren't born with that thought process. I wasn't born thinking like, oh, I'm going to be with somebody and they can have sex with somebody else. No, I wasn't born thinking that. But I feel like if we together, we together. When we a team, we as a team. You and I. Not you and another person and then me. No, I know, but this is what I'm asking. Where did that belief system come from? I guess you just grow up that way. So these are ideas that you didn't actually believe. Somebody told you to believe. And over time, you started to believe them. Um, No, because I've seen it from birth, both perspectives. Like my dad, he got, he had hella bitches. And they all knew about it. And they was, they was happy. That's between. My mama wasn't one of them bitches, though. She was not going for it. Was he honest about it? Very honest about it. But she wasn't going for it. So I've seen it as. Oh, my mom like, nigga, no, this is not what I'm going for. And I see it as my dad is, okay, well, these bitches over here are going for it. So I'm going to go rock with these bitches over here. And they did that. Right. But what was what was the overall message that was delivered to you is I don't, every man is has to have one woman. And if he has a woman outside of that, it's cheating, right? That's the message they pretty much delivered to us? No, because I've like I said, I've seen them from both, both perspectives. The lady that my dad with now, she allowed that. And I was okay with her. I didn't think it was okay. No, I know you've seen it. Yeah. But what I'm saying is when people were telling you growing up. Nobody like, told me anything. I decided I do not want a nigga like my daddy. That's fucking out. I don't want <laughs> nobody like that. Uh, okay. Nobody may have told you directly, but what's yeah. the overall message from society? It's monogamy, right? Like that's we, we live in the West. Yeah, the Western society. is monogamy. Yeah. So that's why you have those beliefs. But I'm saying is, have you ever questioned them? Like, have you even sat back and thought, why do I even believe this? Yeah. And like my what? dad is very like, you know, into history and, and Africanism and, and back in where in Africa, you can have 10 wives. That's what he believes in. That's his thought process. And that's how he tried to have us grow up. But my mom wasn't going for that. So I seen it from her perspective. I seen it from his. And I believe that you can live however fucking way you want to live. Right. If you want to have 30 bitches, if you can afford to take care of all of them, or if they can afford to take and y'all got a big old kumbaya, that's good with y'all. But me, I don't want no fucking village. It don't take a village over here. No, we can get it on our own, me and you. So can I ask a question? Go ahead. So if I was dealing with you, yes. could I have somebody on the side? Absolutely not. So why though? Absolutely why is it okay not. for you to have somebody? Because you cannot because, wait. Because let me let me Go pause ahead. you right there. Because because I said somebody on the side doesn't mean they're necessarily a man. So why why how why can I have a woman on the side that I'm not sharing with you? Because if you can have a woman, why can't I? Have? First of all, boom. I'm gonna tell you why. First of all, mm -hmm. I run the show. I'm the captain, not you. So first of all, you ain't making no rules. You getting on my program. I'm not getting on your program. You're going to come get on my program or you're out the door and I'm going to get somebody who's going to be on the program. Now, if you want to explore that option with another woman, 
You're my woman. You my property. So how in the fuck is my property telling me I'm going to have some property on the side that you can't have no action at? Like, what? Property. First of all, you're going to come to me and ask me for permission to do anything with anybody on the side as far as a female go anyway. And if I decide I don't want to partake in that, go ahead and have your fun. I'm cool on that. I'm cool on her. But best believe, I got first dibs at anything you bring home. So then I'm staying at home and shopping all day and I'm not working. I'm, that's all. I'm Hell no. Nah, you got to work. So then how do you have so much control? What you mean? How do I have so much control? Because you said- Because I'm, I'm still the head of the household. I'm still the man. It's, it, right. I'm, I'm still head of household regardless if you work or not. Because regardless if we were together or not, your ass was going to be working or, or not. So it's either you was going to come with what you making at work and I'm making at work. We put it together and now we got even more- or you're going to be the strong independent woman over here paying everything and gaining nothing. So what I'm saying is, unless you're paying for everything and I'm just sitting on my ass shopping in Melrose, you don't get to do all of that. We, If, if I'm working and you working, we 50-50 on this hoe. Whatever you could do, I could do. If you got a bitch on the side, I sure do too. Absolutely Period. not. Then... Then I, agree to disagree. No, that's, no, I'm, I'm that, saying that's not. How I'm gonna tell you. Okay, this is like, look at all. But this is another reason why that y'all are comp- try, bitch. why they leaving y'all for Becky, for Sue Young, for fucking uh whatever you want to call a Mexican chick. Because guess what? They're going to work. They're doing everything that you're doing and everything y'all crying about that y'all got to do. And when they get home, they man is still the king of the castle. Even some of them that make more money than they man still come home and. They take that hat off from work because I ain't at work no more. I'm now a wife and a mom. And this is my husband that I chose to submit to. If you didn't want to submit to him, why did you choose him? If you pick, you must submit. When he asked you to marry him, you said yes. So at that point, why did you say yes? If you knew in your heart and your brain, you couldn't submit to him. I feel like that's weak. Just my opinion. What's weak? Weak, bitch. Don't take it personal because the fact that me as a black woman, if I have an opinion or if I'm challenging something that you say, then, oh, I'm going to just go with Becky because she don't say nothing and she's going to do everything I say. So that makes you weak because then I can't challenge you with anything. I can't have an opinion. I'm, I'm just, yes, whatever you want, Massa. Is that, is that what we're doing? So I, I have to work. I have to suck your dick whenever you want yes. me to. I, I can't have a side bitch. No. But then I can't have an opinion either. You can have an opinion. Can I? But I have the final say so. Oh, okay. See, this is what y'all get confused. Y'all, y'all want say so. You don't have any say so. You have an opinion, and then we can come to the table, and as the captain of the of the yacht, I can run that opinion by my masculine brain and go, hey, is that does that logically make sense? Is what she's saying, does that make more sense to what I'm saying? Is that gonna put us in the right direction that we need to be going? If the answer is yes. Of course, that's common sense. It's not like you're a slave. I want you to give me input, but understand my input is the final input. So if you think you got the best idea in the world and logically it don't make sense to me, I'm going to say no. And as a head of the household, you're supposed to respect that because when you chose him to be your husband, you're supposed to submit to him. You're supposed to give him the power because you want him to protect you, right? He's not going to say, oh, well, I'm paying 50% of the bills so you're getting 50% protection. <laughs> Fuck that. Half the time, protect your goddamn I self. Can't. This time when this nigga slapped the shit out you, I got you. But the next time you're on your own, you're going to divorce that nigga. But then you want to say, I'm only listening to you half the time. How do that make sense? You could, you could chime in whenever you want. I'm just listening. <laughs> Me, I'm, I, I'm just listening. Me personally. Because women are, y'all don't, y'all don't understand statistics. And I don't like to beat it on, but this is the only way to get the point across is because y'all don't realize the small amount of men that can even do what you're saying. The average house right now in California is just about how much? The smallest? is No, no, the average, the, the median. The, so, the amount, right? Yes. It's like seven, between 700 to 800. It is now like a... Upwards to a million dollars. Close to, yeah. The median, which means the average, is yeah. a million. Mm-hmm. Right? The average man, average, this means most guys making 40 to 50,000, like 45 to 50. The average woman is making like, last time I looked, it was like 38,000 or something like that. Like, not even 40,000. Now, some with more, 
Um, education, yeah, they can make up a lot more money, but it's not the average, it's not the median. There are exceptions. It's not, if you take 100% of women, more are going to make less than the one with the education. So it's like, you want a guy making 40000 to provide a million dollar lifestyle. How? Where's this money coming from? That's where y'all build together. Yeah, but most people are average, right? So you get an average person, an average person, we come together, we pull my resources, pull her resources. Now we can live a little bit above average. But you want to be average, meet an average guy, pull none of your resources, none of your money, none of your nothing. And you say, hey, get up here by yourself. And I just want all the benefits. How does that make any sense? Where does I that make sense? And you can't, and you got to do this insurmountable feat. And I'm the only woman you could, you could lay with. No, I'm not saying that. I'm not going to do anything because I feel like that's not fair. You got to contribute something because, okay, I didn't get the nigga with the million dollars, right? I'm not going to say I settled, but I fell in love with somebody. He only makes 60000 a year, right? I got businesses. I, I make money too, right? Why we can't come together and become that millionaire couple? But if we're doing that, am I saying like, hey, because... I make this amount of money and you only make 60000 that you can't be the head of the household. No, that's not what I'm saying. But at the same time, between time, I think that whoever is closer to getting the ball in the motherfucking in the hoop, you should give it to them. Right? So if I'm leading and I'm booming and I got us on the right path to make it to the bag, you need to follow my lead and vice versa. If my nigga's leading me into the right direction, that's the direction I'm going. A lot of niggas will lead you into poverty, homelessness, because they don't have a clear plan. So therefore, I'm just put it this way. Yeah, they say men are more logical thinkers, right? It's a fact. Right. But I didn't talk to some niggas and, and I'm trying to figure out their plan and, and don't sound, it's, the plan is not planning. It <laughs> sounds like <laughs> we're going to be broke fucking with you because statistically speaking, a lot of women are more educated than men currently. Okay. A lot of more women are in college and way more, way more smarter. So therefore, and currently making more money. And currently making more money. Whoa, hold on, hold yeah. on. See, I gotta stop you. I gotta stop y'all there. Okay. Those are two. Yeah. Those are two misconceptions. Uh huh. There are women are quote unquote the most educated, right? They're going to school, mm -hmm. but being educated from a school system doesn't make you smart. It means you have a good memory. So right. the school system wasn't designed to make you smart. The school system was actually designed to dumb you down and make you a docile, non-thinking employee. Is I'm going to get you on this system and we're going to pound this information into you, make sure you can memorize it long enough to come and pass this test and never question the system. But... Statistics show, since y'all want to talk about statistics, right. most people don't retain anything that they learned in school, even pertaining to the career paths that they choose. Because once you even get into a career path, they're going to train you the way they want to train you anyway. Right. So that all that bullshit you learned in class, they're never going to even ask you about that. They're going to say, hey, you work at XYZ. This is the way we do things. Uh, Cheryl, she's been here for 10 years. She's going to show you the ropes. We're going to check on you in the next three months to see how you're doing, if, if you can stay or not. Right. Nothing that you learned is going to pertain to that job. Right. That it's does not. You the job, though. But I got the job. Jobs that will not even look at you if you don't have a degree. Right. Right. But I got the job, and I'm making more than this nigga. Right. So therefore, back to my point. Right. You have the women who are in school, educating themselves to go get the job, whether the job is saying, "Oh, forget what you learned at school or not." I'm still making more money than you. So not only am I still making more money than you, I went to school. I've currently just graduated. You have not been to school, but you're making your money. You got street smarts. I got street smarts. You got street smarts. Why not take my book smart, your street smarts, my street smarts, and let's become a millionaire? Okay, do, you know, do you know that most men that are high earners go into trades? Right. So this means I can go to a trade school. I can cut the time that I would go to college to get a degree in half almost no debt and make more money than you with your degree and you coming out of school with thousands and thousands and thousands worth of debt and then you're getting a job to pay bills that you can barely pay because like 
almost 70% of the population is paycheck to paycheck. So it's either pay off this debt or pay off these bills. So as you're paying off bills, this debt is still there and it's 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 uh it's going up with the interest. So and as you're living, things are happening. So I'm paying bills. Oh shit, something happened. Bam. I got to take out a loan. Now you got more debt. Oh, I got to take out a credit card. Can't pay it off. Now you got more debt. This is how people get enslaved to debt. Oh shit, I went and bought a house. I went and bought a house, took out a loan from the bank. That's more debt. I went and got a car note. That's more debt. I went and got a cell phone. That's more debt. So yes, it looks good on paper. I went to college. I got this degree. I got this job. But you're swallowed in debt for the next 30, 40 years. The guy that went to trade school don't not, have none of that debt. We're not saying they went to trade school. Now you adding him to have trade school. Okay, okay, we're okay, talking about the cool. average. Cool. Okay, let, okay look. Not go to trade school. Okay, look. Let, 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 okay, let's just go on average. Because this okay. is average. I want to I want to kill this that women are making all this money, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, so I when, want you to hold on. When was this taken though? When this is uh well they don't they don't do this every year. So every couple years they'll Okay, they'll they them. just recently did one. Right. So pull that one up. The one that they just did Okay, recently. here. I'm gonna let you pull it up. Because on average, men I'm on average. Let me see if okay. I can find on my phone. This is what I'm saying. Uh -huh. Men on average make more money than women on average. There right. are exceptions. Like if we just go Six figure Talking earners. Talking about black men and women, right? Yes, now. black men and black women. Okay. Definitely. If we go to six figure earners, there's more black men that are six figure earners than black women. We're talking about average people, though. Yes, on average, black men mm -hmm. make more money than black women. I think for every for every dollar that a man makes, a woman makes like eighty cents on that dollar. Mm -hmm. So the margin may not be far, but men still overall are making more money than women. This is why women are crying about the age gap. I mean, the, 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 the age gap, the wage gap. Going, it's unfair. Men are getting paid more. Like, y'all well, never heard now, that? Yeah, I heard that. Well, now, currently, the tables is turned. Correct. I don't know if you heard Tyler, Tyler Perry. I thing. knew that's where you got it. I wasn't even going to say no, it. I, but that's, I knew. Not, that's not where I got <laughs> it from. Okay, I was about to say, I knew, I knew that's where you got no, it from. That's not where I got it from. I didn't even like his fucking response. Go ahead. But, um, because I'm just not. But that's currently the dynamics. The women are doing a little bit better than the men. So... Therefore, I feel like if we could come together, we can be the millionaire couple. But if I'm doing all the right shit to get us there, you need to follow my lead or vice versa. And are you not the man of the house? Yeah, you are. But I still have the key to the success. So why not follow me? If I'm not leading us down the wrong path of everything that I'm saying is making sense, why not follow me? Oh, because you the man and I'm the woman and you it wasn't your idea. It don't matter who fucking idea it is. We about to be fucking rich. We about to be living. We about to be balling. Right. Okay, look. If just, we a team, it doesn't Just matter. to give y'all the statistics, again, blackdemographics.com, mm -hmm. median earnings for a male, as of uh, what they updated, 46,000. Median for a woman, 41,000, which goes right along with about 80 cents on the dollar. It's right. about the same thing. But we're talking about how- That's average. Right. But how many men, that's average, but how many men are actually making that much? Right. Average. On median. Like, if we take 100 women and 100 men. I'm talking about currently. Yes, currently. If we take 100 black men and 100 black women, currently the black men are making a little more than the black women. If we go on by the working class. Because y'all only are trying to, you're trying to compare women with degrees to unemployed niggas damn near no i'm talking about working class like on the same class if we take black men in the middle class and black women in the middle class on average the black men are going to make more if we take black men in poverty and black women in poverty on average the black men are well, still going to make more. more whether you white black purple or yellow that's what that, i'm that i know but that's better. what i'm saying that that's all i'm saying yeah women keep saying oh we making more than black men because we're educated no y'all are going to college and getting paper Y'all are trading debt for paper that okay, so is essentially all I know is damn near useless. We in 2024, damn near. Yes. And you still talking about submissive. And for sure. People back in the day were submissive. Like I said earlier, the wives weren't working. They were housewives. So how do you want me to give you what we did in the 60s or 50s or whenever they did it? But you want me to live like I'm in 2024 and I want I'm working and doing everything that you want me to do as a woman. Like, they don't match up. Okay, easy. See, this is another thing women don't understand. Cost of living. Inflation. This is These are concepts that don't exist in a woman's mind. So the average man could provide for a family with just his wages 
back then for those times that you're talking about. Mm-hmm. If we look, the average home back then was like what 100k, 200k maybe. Probably. So the average home took about. Let me see from the last statistic. Damn, see, I I gotta start bringing the statistics back. I tried not. To talk about it so much because you start to sound like a robot. But from the income that the guy was making to how long it would take him to pay off the house, it was like 10 to 15 years. What's the average home loan right now? 30 plus. It's like 30 plus. Right. Not only that, the, the home has like went up like quadruple from 200K to a million. But the wages are still here. He's still at 40,000. So it is not like his wages went up. As the fucking cost of living went up, oh, excuse me, <laughs> and inflation went up. Not only that, women fought to work. So women fought to work. Men wanted you at home. Women say, no, stay home. I want you with the kids. I want you to cook. No, fuck that. We want to be equal. We want to work. So first of all, y'all have to be mad at the women of the past that fought to work, which that was a that was a plan by the government too. That was a psyop. They said, hey, we're only taxing men. If we let women work, we could tax men and women. Not only can we tax men and women, now we have full control of their kids because the mom isn't raising them. The mom isn't instilling family values in them. They're at school all day. They're at daycare all day. So all of this is one big plan. Not only that, they're starting to give women more money than men because for that very reason, you won't respect a man that makes less than you. Or even if you make equal to a man, you're going to look down on them. No, not necessarily. That's a fact. She just said if she makes more money, she can't submit to him or be submissive. Even matter of fact, she said if I pay 50 50, I can't. (laughs) But why am I being why? Why do I have to be submissive? Why? Because if you look at the definition of submissive, it doesn't sound good. Why? It doesn't? No. Okay. It doesn't. Hold on, I, I want to read that because read it. I don't think most okay. What's the definition of submissive? Read it. I want you to read it. Do you know it? I read it and it didn't sound good. Okay. I think you need ready to conform to the authority or will of others, meekly obedient or passive. Okay, so yeah, is your ma- like hold on. In jail. Okay, now hold no, on, re- hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. No, hold on, hold on, hold on. Yeah, meekly. Is- Listen, what? ready to conform to the authority or will of others. Is your husband not the authority in the home? I feel like that's slavery or like. Is your uh, husband my wife? Is your damn? I keep forgetting you got a wife. God damn. So you got a whole different dynamic. Right. But for the average, a man and a woman, who's the authority in the home? We 50-50. No, no. I'm telling you, if Your I wife. were to get married, no, I'm saying, like, if my wife, we're 50-50, but if I were to get married tomorrow to a man, we will be 50-50. You would be divorced. No, I wouldn't. Yes. I, I, you, you, facts. You, you would either be- I can call somebody. It's facts. But look, I be, you would either be married to a simp- <laughs> You would either no, be married to a simp not at all. Or, or you would be divorced. No. Black man. That's like, cool. What? He's still a simp if okay. he accepts his woman telling him, hey, because I'm paying bills and working like an adult, like everybody else in America, I'm only going to submit to you 50% of the time. If he accepts that, he's a simp. I guess the word submit doesn't work well with me because- number Why not? Because I don't like it. You just read it. Meekly. I don't like that word. Google the fucking word meek. Okay. I don't like that. Out of everything in that definition, you picked out meekly. Okay. Let's go with the first thing you said. Ready to conform to authority. Is your man not the authority? Ready to conform sounds like, okay, so now you with him, you need to just go with his plan. Yes, absolutely. No. That is the point. if, If his plan does not make sense to me, I'm not going with your plan. Baby, we need to tweak your plan because your plan don't, I, this is the thing. This is what guys need so to So would understand. you marry a man? I, I was talking to a guy and I got rid of him because this that was his thought process, right? He thought that since we were together now, we talking now, oh, I shit. need... What? I didn't even see the motherfucking time. <laughs> I didn't even see. Right. Yeah, I know. I didn't even... I'm, I'm tripping. I just looked... We're gonna wrap I had somewhere to go. Yeah, we're going to wrap it up. Yeah, okay. To yeah, me too. So, I'm going to just say this. This was good. I want to have y'all back because this was good. because I didn't get to none of the topics yeah, we had. Right, right, right. But on God, good. I know because y'all went left. But listen, why the fuck would you would you 
commit to a man that you could not submit to? This is my question to okay. women. Y'all keep saying, I'm getting these guys and his plans don't make... Okay, that's a part of the vetting process, the dating right. process. Right. When I meet him, I get to see where his headspace is at. I keep hitting these fucking buttons. <laughs> <laughs> when I meet him, we talk. So as we're talking, I'm finding out what type of woman you are. You find out what type of man I am. Before we ever get serious... Right. You should have already known if you could follow my direction or not. Right. Okay. So let me tell you this. I look at it like this. And, and it may be simple, right? Simple as fuck. For example, me, I'm 32, right? I have a plan. I know where I'm going. I have this plan. I see a vision. I know where I'm trying to get to, right? You, however the fuck you are, a 36-year-old man, let's just me use me and you. You yeah. have your plan and where you're trying to go. Where you trying to take your career, right? Absolutely. When we merge together, I'm not about to just go with your plan. <coughs> okay, this is my point. If you're not going to just go with my plan, <coughs> that means we ain't for each other. I can't not have a woman that's not going with my plan. This means you're going to derail my plan. No. We have to be on the same... Listen, a train, we got to be on the same track. Listen, I see you got your plan, <clears throat> but I got my plan. So... We got to see how our plans to come together. I can't just go by your plan. Your path may not be my path. But that's my point. As partners, our path, your path has to be my path. It does not Or have we to be can't it. be partners. Because guess what? I got dreams. You got dreams, right. right? So I need to live out my dreams. Now, if my dreams is making you that uncomfortable to where you can't be with me and we can't build and come together, because I got million dollar dreams, you got million dollar dreams. Why we can't both have those dreams? Why we got to just push your dreams? I may be closer to my shit than you. And you may just be right there. You know why? Why? Because you are still supposed to be your wife. So at that point, those million dollar dreams is taken away from you being a wife. Because oh. you being you being a wife is pushing, is helping me take a load off of what I need to do to get me to those million dollar dreams. You want me to be a, a half of a housewife while you go chase dreams like a husband. Like, 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 what do you mean? What if my dream Your dream's gonna take a backseat to mine. No. So, oh, no. Oh, no. Okay. So, um, let's go ahead and wrap this up. Yo, your dream's gonna take a backseat to mine. <laughs> no, I just feel like because she said your heart, she was closer, right? Let's say she only like four minutes away from her dream. I'm gonna put you on hold to get to my four minutes and then we can pick this up and then I'll submit to you. But I'm like closer to my, to the, to the million dollar prize. So why am I going to sit here? Why can't we be on the same way where we like still trying to go to the same location to be a million dollar couple? But why can't we tweak it a little bit? Because. This, why can't it be this, tweaked? This is. Let me put it this way. Most people are average. Which is why most the, the percentage of millionaires are small. Everybody has million dollar dreams. The, the reality is majority of those aren't coming true. Right. So like I said, as we're dating, as we're vetting, we're going to sit down and as you're discussing your dreams, if they don't align with mine, we can't combine right. Right. because you're trying to go this way. I'm trying to go that way. Once we become partners, we have to go this way as a unit. Right. How in the fuck can we be partners if you walk in this way, I'm walking that way? Which way do the kids go? Do they follow mommy? Do they follow daddy? No. Mommy, daddy got to be on the same trail. Kids on the same trail. We both reach success. Right. If you go this way and crash, I go this way and crash. They're fucked. Okay. So we playing basketball, right? And you all the way on the other side of the court. I'm right there at the motherfucking, what's it called? The, hoop? the net. The net mm -hmm. where we got to shoot the ball. Mm -hmm. Is you going to try to go all the way past all these people? To shoot the ball, or are you going to pass it to me and let me shoot the ball? Because I'm closer. It, de it, depend it depends on the shot. Mm. Right. Because so you I'm said... Right I'm right there. I'm right fucking there. You All you got to do is throw me the ball, ball right. and I'm going to lay that It depends on the shot. The <laughs> Once you start saying million dollar dream, okay, now I need details. What's the right. million dollar exactly. dream? Right. Exactly. So, for example, my nigga, he see, my, he see what I got going on. So, guess what? He like, babe, I'm going to push your shit. Before I push my shit, because I ain't even really started on mine yet. So I'm gonna help you get to yours because I see the vision. That's a real nigga. So guess what? He went and got another job. He works 120 hours a week to help me with my brand because I'm closer. He can I I, I don't he can pass me the ball and guess what? Boom, I'm gonna make it into Okay, so in my opinion. So okay, so in my opinion, that's a contradiction to almost everything you guys said earlier. Why? 
because you guys said you want a man of certain status, making certain money already, a guy like that, before he met you to get to where he was, his program was already airtight to allow him to get there. He's already disciplined to the T. So anybody that's joining his team, is doing just that. You're joining his team, his program. He's not coming to a woman like, oh yeah, what? Let me see what your game plan is. Or no, I don't, what type of woman are you? Okay, this, this is what I'm doing. My game plan is, and he see like, babe, you on your shit. I'm gonna help you so you can get closer to the ball. I mean, closer to the million dollars. Why not? Okay, so he's not where he where he wants to be. Then he right? at where he where he at. He's at where he's at. He's making, no no not where he's at. He's at he's making eighty k. Right. Okay. So, so is his lifelong me. dreams making 80K? No, he wants to make more. Okay. So my advice to him, mm -hmm. instead of helping push you, how is he going to get to where he needs to go by pushing he, you? You want to know? You want to know? You're how? telling him to put his dreams and his. No, see, I'm this not. is the madness. I'm not. I'm not. Because you want to know why? He had, he went and got another job. He said, I'm going to get another full time job. So that way I could pay off all my debt. And I can help you with your shit because you're closer. I'm going to pay off all my debt. So that way we can take trips. We can do this. And then that way I can help you with your brand because you're right there. Boom. I'm still handling it, my shit and my kids and I'm helping you. That's a real nigga at the end of the day. No, that in my opinion, that's not a real nigga. Yes. That, that, that's, a, that's, a, that's a nigga who's lost on his vision. Because a man putting his purpose on pause for a woman. How is he putting is his purpose on pause? With submission comes compromise. Right. So and the compromise the is that you need to follow suit sometimes and have me me halfway. No, listen. That's what that's, that's what that's what it is. Listen, for that's a man, no, for a man, okay. Listen, it's purpose and then it's everything else. Mm -hmm. Purpose comes first. It does not compromise for anybody. anybody. You should not compromise. So if he's going to pause his purpose and say, "Hey, you closer to your dreams." I'm going to put this on pause and I'm going to push you up here. As he does that, you're going to lose respect for him. No. Good luck. You're going to you're going to lose respect for him as a man. Cuz why is how is he pausing? He's not pausing. If he if a nigga go If out, he got a second job, yeah. he's not pausing. No, listen, if he got, if he got a second job uh -huh. to pay off debt so you can do what you got to no, do. No, he got a second job to pay off his debt so he can do what he has to do for himself. Also, what I have to do for myself. So not only is he paying off his debt so he can be debt free for himself, he's also helping me and my brand. So therefore, I can't give this a part time job because if I get a part time job, yeah, I'm gonna pay off my debt, but I want to bring my okay. Bitch th this me. is where the confusion comes uh -huh. in because you threw out million dollar dreams. So in, right. my, in my brain, you say he makes eighty k. Right. That's a far away from a million dollars. So right. in my head, he already has a plan to get to where he has to go. Right. To where he does not have time to propel a woman to her dreams as he's working on his. Why not? That's okay. that's not why, even possible. Why, why if our dreams are the same? What he trying to do and what I'm trying to do is exactly the same. Okay, like so that's said, my point. We're on the same path. So why not boost? If I'm leveling myself up and I have the means to boost my bitch up, why not boost my bitch up? Just like if I was in the same position. You know what? So why are you not boosting him up if y'all dreams the same? I, guess what How I are you closer guess, to guess what I Guess what I did before before I fucking got here. I went and helped him go go take his car to the body shop. I cooked this man dinner, got his clothes ready, everything before I got here. No, I'm not. No, look, I'm not I mad at that. I him get ready for his second job. That's your submissive, right? Right. No, I'm no, it him is. No, his but second job so that way he can make our dreams. No, come it true. is. But the compromise but what I'm saying, is that he shifted his plan. No, don't her. shift your plan for shift, no woman. He didn't shift no plan. Don't shift his, your plan, his plan was for no get, woman. His plan was to get another job. Boom. Purpose is above everything. Right. Well, then okay, but no, this this what. I'm other saying, to be with that so that so, so no, that but, she okay this is the last thing i'm asking mm -hmm. this is what i'm asking y'all because you say you're you two both said i'm not pausing what i got going for no man but at the same time you just said it's cool for him to pause what he's doing to help you reach your goal because you're closer so my response would be okay if you closer why not pause what you're doing bring him to where you at and then y'all both cross the finish line i never said he was pausing no i said you why don't you Pause and pull him up to where you at. If you closer, you know something he don't know. If you if y'all if y'all had the same goal, you got further than him. You have some type of information that he doesn't. So right. this is your nigga. And I shared the information with him. And he still ain't. That's why he has a second job. Because therefore, he's able to, guess what? Pay off his debt, right? Help me get, throw the ball into the fucking net. 
Boom. And also do his thing. He wants to start his fitness line. Guess what? I have all the plugs to start the fitness line. Baby, you can start yours right now. While you're working, give me your logo. I'm going to get it printed up on for something for you. So that way when you go to the gym, you already have it. Boom. What you need? You need clothes, shoes, all of that. It's already laid out for when you walk through the door. So that way, while you're working literally for four days straight with no sleep, like back to back to back, everything is already settled. So why do you why do you have a problem with this if this is what you're doing currently? You just don't like I how don't, it sounds? I don't like the, the meaning. And they need to change the meaning of it. They, the meaning is what you're doing. No. I, Listen, if you just said, I cooked, I cleaned, I, I, did his, I washed his clothes, I did X, Y, Z. You did everything this is saying. Because you're viewing him as the authority. Is, that's the thing. So you're I'm doing it because I want to do it. <laughs> right. Not because he told me to do it. Not because he's expecting me to do it. Because I feel like he deserves Why it. Why should he not every, expect you to every, do it? Every nigga don't deserve all that. I, I know, but this is your nigga. Mm -hmm. Right. This so we're not nigga. talking about every nigga. This so why nigga. shouldn't your and nigga I want my expect nigga to be that? Successful I know. Everything that he's doing. But that's crazy. Why wouldn't your nigga, why shouldn't your nigga expect that? Because you expect things of him as a man. Right. As a man, I expect you to provide. As a man, Man, I expect you to protect. Right. You don't have to ask him. If you did, you would lose attraction to him. I'll get a new nigga. Right. So why can't he expect this from you? He can. Everybody has their expectations, right? And that's probably what he's expecting of a woman. He didn't have to ask me, though. That's just the type of bitch I am. So if I see that this is this is what you're doing, if I see you working hard, if I see you got dreams, if I see that, you know what? He really fuck with me. I'm going to do everything in your power, in my power to make your life easier. Yeah, but I think it's just the wording y'all don't like. I don't like. Because, I just said that. I don't look, like the wording. The wordings very sound very slave. It doesn't sound slave. It, it does. Okay, I'm going to tell you what's happening. I'm like I'm in jail. What's happening right. is women have this think tank and all women are thinking the same due to social media. So y'all are hearing women by the thousands say, submissive, being a wife sounds like a slave. Being submissive sounds like a slave. And it's being subconsciously programmed into your brain that when I hear submissive, trigger word. Slave. No, it's not a slave. You being submissive makes your life easier. Okay, so because you, know, you making my life easier as your man, I'm going to make your life easier as my wife. But the only way I can do that is if you're submissive to me. But I think that it's the approach, right? So if I approach Coco and be like, "Bitch, give me that shirt," she not gonna give me the shirt. Be like, "Ooh, girl, that's nice." She gonna be like, "Oh, you want it?" Saying that to say, if you come and be at me like, "Oh, I'm just gonna love on you, show you love." I'm going to give you submissive. I'm going to give you what you want because you don't have to ask for it. Because you're just showing me love. I'm going to show you love back. But it's your approach. You've got to be submissive. It's your approach is not that's, that's giving us kind of like a defense where I'm like, no, I don't look, rock with that. That's defense to me. I'm We're speaking from the aspect of your man that you love that loves you. So when I say you got to be submissive, that's just to get into the relationship for him to commit to you. But he's not walking in a relationship like, bitch, submit. But he's that's, not, but that's the energy this is, you've been giving this is all me, night. Right, but that's this is... the energy you've been giving all night. I know, but this is me speaking on the checklist that will qualify you for that position, but you're not thinking about it from the position of the man that you have or the wife that you have. Well, I can't even go by wife because y'all two women is different. So I got to say the man... The man that you have, you were happy to do everything you did before you came here, right? You didn't think like slave when you did it, did you? Because he didn't ask for it. No, but this is what no, I'm I saying. Didn't. I know, but I that's submission. Like I know, but that's the point. Just like he feels you okay, deserve I everything that he gives you. Submissive. I think it's the wording. I don't like the wording. I feel like they should change the Stop wording. Stop not liking the wording because there's nothing wrong with the just wording. Like, You're doing it. it. Right. But just say, you know, we take care of each other. We got right. each other's back. Because he do shit that's me what too. It is. That goes without but, saying. But he's, right. He's, right. He's but it's just like, too. it's like you sitting in here and we damn near in 2024, but we still using words from back in the what? Yes, it's, la it's it English language, right? But, but the English but language. How long ago? Did be submissive. No. Be submissive. But men could be submissive. A hard no. Too. Be submissive. A hard no. Be, be submissive. <laughs> if a hard my hard no. Be submissive to me. <laughs> submit. Hard no. I don't know. It's submit not like or quit. I'm telling a dog to sit. Right. Sit, That's sit, how it sit. feels. As no, a it, it, it feels because I'm saying it aggressively to y'all, and we're not in a relationship. We have no emotional bond. So you're hearing a, a man that you just met today saying submit, you like, nigga, fuck you, no. 
any right. But what I'm saying <laughs> is, this is someone you're in a relationship with. He's not going to tell you to submit. You're already naturally going to do it as he as he naturally does his role as a man. But why do you have a problem just saying, you know what? I will submit to my man. My I, man. I, I, not I, any nigga. My man. I feel like, okay. okay. Just say it. No. So what I am going to say is... <laughs> this is why they believe. This is why... That's too much pride for me. This is what That's I, too much pride for me. I go on pride. This that's too much pride for me. Y'all, woo! Hey, look. Hey, look. I like them. We hey, we, we going to run this yeah, back. because I got like to. I got like 10 topics we didn't even touch on. We did it. <laughs> but I got... Because she a motherfucker. I, I like her, though. But we going to get back to it. Share, like, subscribe to the channel. Where can they find your channel? Because she's a content creator as well. Go subscribe to her shit. Where can they find your Everywhere. shit? Everywhere. Twitter, Instagram, YouTube, uh, t- TikTok. All Monica Lenz. M-O-N-I-K-A-L-E-N-Z. And look, we're going to do a part two ASAP. Because, whoo. Whoo. God damn. <laughs> <laughs> hey, the Byway Podcast, man. Share, like, subscribe to the channel. I got somewhere to be, man. Holla at me. Bang. Ain't no handouts, I did it from the ground up yeah. In the streets, dug in hardest where they found us exactly. Got a problem, nigga, watch my troopers mount up My bitches bang too, and you a lame though You niggas ain't outside, yeah, we came through You want your lights up, we put you on the